We have somewhat good news from the NBA and for Utah Jazz fans. The NBA is allowing teams to open their practice facilities to players in cities and states where local governments have eased stay-at-home orders. That's according to ESPN. Yeah, facilities would be open to players on a voluntary basis for individual workouts. Larger group workouts would still be prohibited under that uh, announcement. But what's not prohibited is taking a dive into our Jazz archives. On this day in Utah Jazz playoff history, game five between the Jazz and Clippers. Gordon Hayward scored 27 points after missing most of game four with a case of the rumblies in the tumblies there. And uh, Joe Johnson, Rodney Hood combined for 30 points off the bench. Jazz won by four. They took a three to two series lead after that. Thanks a lot, Zupas. <laughs> April 25th, 2010, the Jazz overcome a 39-point game by Carmelo Anthony to take a 3-1 series lead over the Denver Nuggets. Carlos Boozer led the Jazz with 31 points and 13 rebounds. Darren Williams, 24 points, 13 assists. C.J. Miles, 21 points. Wesley Matthews, 18, and Paul Millsap, 12 off the bench. The Jazz won at home, 117 to 106. And of course, they would go on to win the series in six. On this day in 1998, game two between the Jazz and Rockets. The Jazz lost game one on their home floor, but came back strong behind a 29.10 rebound performance from Carl Malone. John Stockton scored 17 and dished out 10 assists. The Jazz won by 15 to even the series up. They would go on to take the best of five, three games to two. Rockets uniforms were so bad. April 25th, 1991. Game one against the Phoenix Suns, the team that eliminated the Jazz in the playoffs in the first round the season before. A team that featured Kevin Johnson, Tom Chambers, Xavier McDaniel, Jeff Hornacek, and Dan Marley. The Jazz dominated this game on the road as the five seed against the four seed. The mailman delivered 27 and 10. John Stockton, 18 points, 15 assists. The Brown Bear, Mike Brown, nine points, 10 rebounds off the bench blue edwards 12 points the jazz crushed the suns on the road by 39 points 129 to 90 the jazz would win the series in four games they led by as much as 43 in that game april 25th 1980 two at the salt palace between the jazz and warriors Carl Malone with a little shuffle. Daryl Griffith drilled four or five three-point attempts and scored a game-high 25 points off the bench, but that was a problem. Ricky Green went down with a hamstring injury, and then this. Greg Ballard and Carl Malone go at it. They throw balls at each other, and here we go. This spilled into the crowd. It was an ugly scene. Even George Carl, the Warriors coach, got into it with a fan, as you see right there. Chris Mullen throwing haymakers. This was nuts. The Jazz took a 2-0 series lead with the win.